race fans. We're here in Watkins Glen and winning his first Coors Light Pole Award of the season. I've got Marcos Ambrose. Tell me about your laps out there. Well, it was a good lap. Just got to thank Drew Blickenstorff and everybody on the uh, Richard Petty Motorsports team for giving this, this opportunity. You know, we've won two races here in a row, but we've never had the pole position. So I think we've got a, a great Stanley race car out there for Sunday. And uh, it's gonna, I'm going to sleep well tonight. I'm going to enjoy this pole position. These aren't easy to come by. They're really tough uh, to go the fastest out there and in this field of competition. And uh, there's a lot of road races that have caught up to me here on these tracks. So really proud to put down a solid lap. It was a good lap, not perfect, but it was enough. Yeah, it was enough. Speaking of competition, tell me about the uh, group qualifying today. Well, it didn't really make any difference to us. We just did one lap and uh, caught it quits. But I think it, it's certainly faster for the fans to get through qualifying. I think that's a good thing and uh, it allows the drivers, if they really make a mistake in their first lap, to, to at least not uh, you know, completely waste their day. They've got a second chance. Completely agree. So now you are no stranger to winning races here at Watkins Glen. If you win on Sunday, it'll be your third time in the row. That'd be great, right? Oh yeah, I'll take that. I mean, we need to uh, do something special out there tomorrow. We're, we're outside the top 20 points. If we can win tomorrow, we'll get back inside the top 20, uh, become a genuine wildcard contender for the chase. And our year is not over, so we, we know we've got to have a really solid day tomorrow. We've got a lot of thinking to do to get ready for that race and uh, looking forward to it. Just uh, very excited. Keeping their eyes on the prize. Tomorrow, looking for a win, Watkins Glen, Marcos Ambrose.